everybody. So today I want to show you how to make like this drawing right here, the easiest way using the underglaze inks. So first off, I have a light box right here and I have a picture that I want to make into one of those image transfers. And I've already completed this one here. It's already got the underglaze on it and everything. But really when you're trying to do this, you want to do a simple line drawing and you want to look for big areas and you want to kind of go in the direction that things are going. So for like this wolf right here, there's a little color change right here around the eye. The eyes are very specific. So like we want to kind of make sure we get those little eyes in there. Eyes are always very important when you are doing a drawing. So spending some quality time on the eyes is very helpful. And if you're like, oh wait, maybe I need to change a little bit, go ahead, right? And I'm just trying to give it a general feel. I'm not necessarily trying to get every single detail because it would be really hard to get every single detail into this picture. So I just want general shapes, general patterns, and like I want the occasional fur. So I'm just kind of like going with the direction that the fur is going and I'm trying to include any color changes. So if there's an area where the color changes significantly, I want to include that. But it's mostly just trying to draw the basics of what you see. Okay. So, once you have that, and you have all the kind of big basic shapes, you got the outside, you got color changes, you could add in a few more details if you have time, uh, or if you have a larger space, you could add in details. But this is what my drawing looks like now without the light showing now if you're like oh i think i need to like you know work on this eye a little bit more go ahead change something erase it you know make it work for what you want now i already like i said i already have this one and i already drew this one out so i could show you the technique so now that you have your drawing you are whoops, gonna be using the squeezy place to add in all the details, okay? So this is one of those times when you could fix like that eye, you could change it if you needed to. So always have a paper towel with you, check your squeezy glaze, make sure that it's flowing freely. If it's not, then you probably need to take this lid off and like clean out all the stuff. Do not lose these needles. If it gets stuck in the recycled clay, that would be horrible. Uh, and then you're just gonna follow all your lines with the squeezy glaze, right? So you're just gonna follow all your lines with the squeezy glaze until you have completed it, like this one. And then like I said, you wanna let it dry. Now this one is not fully 100% dry, so it might smear a little bit, but if you wait until it's fully dry, I mean, set it outside and like, for two minutes and it'll be fine. So then you wanna have your slab ready to go. So I made and smoothed the tile yesterday. And you want it to either be soft clay or leather hard clay, but you still want it to be moist, okay? Now, since mine's a little bit stiffer leather hard, I'm just gonna take a little bit of water on my sponge and just kind of like wet the surface just a little bit, just a little bit. Like, I don't want it to be soaking wet. I still want it to be smooth. So like when I get those sponge lines on there, I'm just gonna run my finger across it and make sure that it's not super crazy wet. Okay, let's see. So like I said, this one is still shiny. You can still see some shine in here. So I know this one's not 100% dry. So like I said, this is gonna smear a little bit, but if you wait until it's fully dry, it won't do that. But like over here, this area that looks more gray, fully dry. So you're gonna turn it upside down, make sure it's fully centered, and lightly kind of press it down. Now you can see on the back too, like the parts that are gonna smear are all these like really wet parts. 
but you put put it down on the clay and you're gonna kind of use your rib to smooth it now like i said i can tell already that i smeared right there because i did not wait for this to dry but like over here it should be good now i can pull it and be like oh no it's not great um but do you see how like where it was dry it hasn't transferred yet so you actually want to smooth it on there make sure it's stuck real good so you want to you want to wait till it's dry and then once you have it on here then you're going to add on water to get that underglaze to transfer right and now i can rub it a little bit and i can start to look and be like okay did it transfer all the way no i need to focus on this area a little bit more did it transfer over here? Let me take a look. So see this transfer right here, because I waited for it to dry, this transferred really nice. Since I waited for this area over here to dry, this area is transferring really nice. Now you can see, like I said, these areas are very blobby because I didn't wait for it to dry. So you get the idea though, right? Now, if this happens to you and you're like, oh my gosh, but Ms. E, it looks terrible because you didn't wait for it to dry, try it again. And all you got to do is scrape it off. Just use your, you know, uh, rib and a little bit of water and just scoop it off, right? And then you can try it again, but this time wait for it to be fully dry. So there you go. Have at it. You can do this, you're gonna do that with the wolf head now, but then if you wanna have other pictures later, you can do that. Thanks everybody.